morning, guys. Welcome to today and welcome to Wonder Woman. <laughs> you can't Say really, hi. You can't really so see. today, Wonder Woman. <laughs> we're going to tell you guys all about our puppy, my new puppy. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, God. Molly oh, came. Here. So here. you guys already saw the video of them in being introduced, oh, her being introduced to the other dogs. They hate her. They Molly especially hates her. Everybody's under stress right now. Um, the puppy is especially stressed right now. Is she actually wearing? Well, she can't wear a red, a pink bow with a red dress. Are you changing her? Well, yeah, I'm gonna change her into a dress. And she, we're gonna go out with her. Yeah, we're taking her out, and I'll tell you where we're going in just one second. I wanted to just tell you guys. That we love her and that Sophie and I are still competing for her attention. Who does she love best? Me. <laughs> but she and does love me too. I her all night. Oh, yeah. So basically, last night, that long car drive. Oh, don't let her jump off. I know. That long car drive last night did me in. I honestly was so tired last night. So when we got home, we did all everything we needed to do. We brushed her. We let her get used to the other dogs. We showed her her family, her, her house. Yeah, she likes to bite the brush. The comb. And we showed her everything. We showed her where she could go to the bathroom. We fed her because her owners didn't feed her during the morning because they wanted her to not go to the bathroom in the car or puke hey, in the me. car. Come here. No, puke come in here. the car. I think Hello. She, I think she might wear this outfit. Hello, baby. <laughs> because mom, this is really cute. There's a little bit of jealousy happening. Well, she wears a pink um come here. bow with it. You can't see the puppy right now. <laughs> yeah, love brushing her. Oops. Oh, really? <laughs> So the puppy wants to love the dogs. The dogs hate the puppy. Okay. Absolutely hate her. Molly is terrified, disgusted, every negative emotion you can have. I reward Who's Molly. the best dog with her? Daisy. Daisy will play with her and do things with her, and she likes Daisy. She's been really calm. You can tell she's scared. What is she most scared of? Blood noises. Yeah, she doesn't like noises. She's she. It's like she's never been in a family. She doesn't know any of our noises. She every, every like see how she's like a bit nervous every time fast movements. No, she does not. Diaper for yeah, her. she doesn't need that. So I want to tell you guys quickly last night how last night went. So last night, like I said, I was exhausted after that trip. Come here, come here, baby girl. Um, that one will look really cute on her. I was exhausted and I went to, ended up taking her upstairs to bed with me and I cuddled her in my bed and she was really good. And then she had energy. So I told Sophie, Sophie, your turn. And Sophie took her downstairs and played with her and <laughs> I fell asleep. And then, so Sophie had last night. She, Sophie did last night. Tell us a brief overview of what happened last night. She kept climbing out of that. She kept climbing out of that. So she ended up having to go into a crate for the night. But what happened was that at 4 a.m. I woke up and was like, oh, crap. I don't know where my puppy is. <laughs> like, I was so tired. And I never get that tired. But I was just so tired. I, I like, crashed hard. I woke up at 4 a.m. and I heard nothing. Sophie was asleep. Everybody was asleep. And I was like, oh, no. There's my puppy somewhere. I don't know if she's in her pen and if she climbed out. Like, I didn't know anything because I was so tired. So I went pee. That's like one of the unspoken rules when you get a baby or a puppy. You don't go to the bathroom in the middle of the night because you don't want them to hear you and wake up. So I went pee because I was like, if she wakes up, at least I'll know where she is. And then I went back to bed. I didn't hear her all night long, though. And I went back to bed. And just as I was about to fall back asleep, she falls asleep, asleep mid-dress. Um, and just as I was about to fall back asleep, I heard, <coughs> that's it. Just like the smallest little squeak. And then so I ran downstairs and I found her and she had pooped in her cage, in her crate and had walked through it. All I smelled when I came downstairs was poop. So she had a little bath at 4 a.m. She had a bath at 11 too. She also had a bath at 11 with Sophie. So then I wrapped her in a towel, dried her off and then pulled her in bed with me, dragged her in bed with me and she slept beautifully with me until 6.30. She was great. Sam, on the other hand, was snoring like crazy. I think it's a little small. That is adorable on her. Yeah, it might be a little bit small. If See? it's too small... What straps? She's really long. If it's too small, we can cut off those straps. We does it look like that? Does it look like they are too tight? Well... Oh, those are definitely... Well, no, actually, they don't really. Don't she looks really cute in that pink dress. But no, we're going out casually. She should have a sweater 
and not a yeah. dress on. This isn't a dress. This yeah, is. she's like our new baby doll. But anyways. I know. Get one of these instead of a baby doll. So anyways, she slept almost all night in her crate. It was perfect. It was a near perfect night. The only issue is this. The only issue with her at all is that she, like, every puppy that we've ever got in my entire life has always followed the same routine. They've always thrown up in the car on the way home have always been scared to eat, been a little nervous for the first 24 hours or so. As soon as you put them down, they pee everywhere. And she didn't do any of those things. She's not like any other puppy that I've ever had or seen in my life. She did not do any of those things. What she did was have energy, run around. You can tell she's nervous. You can tell she's shy, but she had energy. She was running with the dogs and she was well behaved. I put her in her, in her little pen there to eat. And I swear to God, she gobbled her food so fast. I was like, oh gosh, you're one of those. I'm going to have to like put, make sure that you don't eat too fast. But she was excellent. The only problem we had is the opposite reaction to what you would think you would get when you get a puppy. She doesn't go to the bathroom ever. She doesn't feel comfortable or safe enough yet to go to the bathroom. She's cute in a dress. <laughs> that was Macy's favorite dress. I need to sew it though. See, it's got this little rip right here. That fits her good. She's like, I don't want to go back. <laughs> you look really cute. Yes, you do. Okay, give her back. So, all right, call her. Ellie, come here. Come here, Ellie. Come on. She's like, you put clothes on me. <laughs> she doesn't like you because you put clothes on her. That's okay, baby. Pass her back. <laughs> I want to put the bow on her. That was like a huge struggle. They said she was pee pad trained. We put pee pads everywhere. She looked like she was just going to treat the pee pads as a bed. Um, what ended up happening is that last, like she went like seven hours without pooping after she ate. Like she went so long without peeing and without pooping. Like she was here and had like so much water and she still didn't go to the bathroom. And I was freaking out. As soon as we put her in the crate and there was a pee pad in the crate, she went to the bathroom. So she knew to go in the crate or she felt comfortable when everybody was gone <laughs> to go in the crate. She's tired. And then today, after she peed on the pee pad, I brought the pee pad out of the crate and put it over here so that she would be able to smell that that's where she goes. And she actually peed today, but she still hasn't pooped after after eating and it's been like five hours she ate like five hours ago and she still hasn't pooped and that's so unusual i feel for a, a puppy but not unheard of it's cute and i'm gonna fix her hair i'm gonna do her hair a little bit cuter than that i'm gonna bring her because the bow is so low it's right over top of her eyeballs well she wasn't asleep then <laughs> So our only issues are that the dogs are terrified of her and that'll get better and that she doesn't feel comfortable going to the bathroom in, in the house or outside the house. Like she doesn't even put her nose in the ground and circle. Like she doesn't even do that. Like she does nothing typical of what we've experienced with a million different puppies. But she sleeps good. She eats good. She, she plays good. good. Oh, she drinks. She knows everything. She knows where her bed is. She knows like where her food and her water is. She goes in there when she wants to. She understands everything. In fact, Sophie taught her to. Shoes. Sophie taught her to sit last night. So we're gonna show you. She's actually really funny about it. There we go. Aww. Does it look cute? It's so cute. <laughs> <It's> so cute. <laughs> Today I screamed because there was a bug on me. Yeah. You hit it and then it went on to me. Yeah. And then she was like, are you okay? Yeah, and then I pretended to cry and then she came running over to me. She's like Daisy, takes it somewhere else to eat. Do you guys remember when I told you that how frustrated I was with how many dog toys are around on the floor all the time, like the mess from the dogs? Well, it just exploded by 500%. She has toys. She keeps dragging them all over. And then she, like, takes her treats and drops Isn't them on the ground. Is that all over there? Yeah, they're all from her. All right. Ellie, come here. Ellie. Ellie! Ellie. Oh my gosh. Stand up. Stand up just for a second. Ellie, sit. Good girl. good girl. I taught her that. Such yeah. a good puppy. So good. All right. So Ellie's very first outing is the pet store because I didn't bring her harness, but yeah, she can't get down because she's not fully vaccinated. So we'll be carrying her. She doesn't like the bed that we bought. She hates it. She's like, I like that bed. Don't let her get too close to it. So we could get her a St. Patrick's Day dress. To get her like a little a cape. cape. 
<laughs> She's like, what are we doing She's really cute. We bought the smallest harness that you can get and it doesn't fit her, but she'll grow into it. Okay, so the reason we're here is because one thing I didn't know and couldn't and didn't research about Ellie is that Yorkies smell, they have a smell. So once I picked her up, I'm like, oh, she has a smell. And it's not because she's dirty, it's not because she's not groomed, it's not because I think it's the oil in her fur. I also want to look at carriers because there's a specific one I want. I want the one that's like a sling. I, that one. I don't like those. I've had this one before. And you can put it on your front as well. And that's where I carried it. It's a backpack. But I want a sling one. There's like a really cute sling that they don't have here. That's okay. Yeah, those are really cute. I've been wanting one. She's like, I really want one of those too. Yeah, I can put peanut butter on it and freeze it. If you guys think that Sophie's winning in the in the bid to win her heart, I then am. it might be she maybe cried for Sophie today when I had her in the car and was not very kind of you. Can, can I get it like that? Oh, that's a tiny one. That would fit her. Do you see a sling? Oh, is that it? All right, this is like for the dog to carry. This is the section. Oh my gosh, we've never seen this aisle before. All right, get busy, let's look. I'm also going to be doing all my grooming, all of her grooming myself. Pink. Yeah, I wanna get a really nice set of grooming stuff because I've seen people get Yorkies and then have them groomed and then your idea of what you want them to look like and how they come out not being exactly the same. So I've been watching a lot of videos and and just get a job as a pet groomer and then just quit once you get good at it. Yeah, and so I'm gonna, when she's a little bit bigger, I'm gonna start grooming her myself. Oh, he's he's 12 weeks too? Yeah. He's tiny, ours is a lot bigger. Yeah. I mean, so not a lot bigger, but he's little. I have that same blanket. We met somebody that got a Yorkie, she just got him and it was a boy. Yeah, we just got her. Uh, yeah, and hers is gonna be like four pounds and, or three to four pounds and ours is gonna be five to six pounds. So oh, I was hoping, oh yes. I was hoping that we'd find like a brand of shampoo that had like the breed on it so that we knew what to get because apparently Yorkies are different than all other dogs, of course. Yeah, so we need one that says for Yorkies. So that was hard, you guys. I ended up getting this Chi for Dogs Gentle Formula 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioning stuff and I got it because I read every ingredient in every bottle of shampoo that they had there and all of them were like full of so many chemicals so I got this one because it's supposed to be gentle formula and it had less chemicals in it I don't think this is the right one and then it had like a thing inside here so you couldn't smell it to see if it smelled good because I don't want to bath her with stuff that smells bad it smells bad but luckily I bought this probiotic deodorizer and I should have got shampoo in this brand because it sounds a lot better. It's like a lot more natural. And Sophie and I like the smell of it. So after we bath her, we can spray her with this. So if you are a Yorkie owner or a, or a groomer or whatever, and you know what shampoo is specifically formulated, like that has the right pH balance for Yorkies, please let me know. I tried to research that before I got her, but ever since we got her, just everything's been jumbling together and it's been overwhelming and I, I don't know what the right shampoo is. And when you go like unprepared to the store, you never can find what you're looking for. You're always like feeling rushed. So I ended up with this and I know it's not gonna be the one that I like. Definitely, now that I got a chance to smell it. We are home and I learned my lesson. Don't buy a bed for a dog until you get the dog. She hates the, the bed that we got her. So we got her this little one. It's tiny and she actually likes it. I'm gonna put it like either in my bed or I'm gonna put it on the couch so that she can have some place to lay. The dogs are crying because they know that we're about to do a doggy challenge, huh? We're just waiting for Gabby. You guys know that the first three days of having a puppy are the most important for bonding. And so we're gonna chat test. Right now we're like 24 hours in. Hi. And we're gonna see who little Ellie likes Beth best. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that I think I'm gonna name her Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Come here, Ellie. Come here. She's like, are you calling me? <laughs> she, she's like, who's calling me? All right, I'm gonna do. A really quick little, who does she choose? <laughs> she just keeps falling. Oh, also you guys should know she did her very first pee outside today.
You guys know the drill. We're gonna call her and see who she goes to. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. She's like, guys, you guys are too much. Oh, yay, we all lose. All right, well, <laughs> she chooses nobody. She chose her cage. <laughs> she doesn't even like her cage. Is she drinking? No, she's just sitting there. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. She's so cute. Come on, baby. Like nobody? Right. You don't you like go nobody? Over here, Sam, and we'll go sit over there and see if she comes to us over here. Over there. She's ready to go. Okay. Okay. Right. Here she goes. Huh? Come here. Come here. She went to Gabby. <laughs> she went to Gabby. Ah, <laughs> this. We let her hold her for two seconds in the car. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's try again. <laughs> I just don't think that that was accurate. All right, I'm gonna put her more on this way. Ellie, 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 Ellie. Ellie. Come on. No, Ellie, Ellie. Get us to the carpet. Ellie, Ellie. Come here, Ellie. She don't want nobody. She's gone back to bed. All right, it's clear that we are in day one and she hasn't really chosen yet. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the